What's up people, Hunter Spoke Riders here and today's video is about tool of the month. June tool of the month is gonna be another short one. I only bought one tool this month and I think it's an important one. And what this will do is gonna round out my collection of torque wrenches. Now I have all the sizes I need for what I do over here. I don't think I'm gonna need anything bigger than this unless I, you know, hit the lotto, buy 100 acres of land and start messing with tractors and stuff. But other than that, just dealing with cars and motorcycles, I think this is about the biggest one I need. So this is gonna pretty much round out my collection. Now before, for years, this was the biggest torque wrench I had right here. I've already, I've already shown this and talked about this. In previous videos of Tool of the Month, I got two smaller ones. I got this one so I can do the inch pounds. And I even had this one, the little torque screwdriver deal. But this video is all about this big torque wrench right here. This is the biggest one I've ever had. I've needed this one. That way I can do uh, lug nuts and torque the wheels on cars and stuff like that and the axle nuts on motorcycles. Yeah, this one right here will be the last one I'm gonna get. This rounds out my torque wrench collection. That's why I wanted to grab this for a tool of the month. Now doing these tools of the month has been actually kind of a challenge. It was my new year's resolution, the start of 2021 to buy one tool every month and do a tool of the month video. It's been kind of hard to do it because it's been hot and I ain't really been out in the garage to so justify buying a whole bunch of tools. I think I needed this one. I think this is a good thing to add to collection. Now I can be done with the torque wrench and move on to other stuff for next month. But let me pull out the package and see what it's looking like. Oh yeah, before I uh, throw this away, that's the model number if anybody's interested. So far it looks pretty good, man. I like the clear case, the little case with the little clear window that comes in. So you can see what's in there. It looks to be up to par with everything else I've gotten so far. This is a good brand to get if you're on the budget. I'm definitely on the budget. Yeah, this is something I believe I really needed because let me show you what I was doing prior to this. If I had to torque down a half inch socket, because I was using this smaller one, using this adapter, slapping that on there, then slapping a half inch socket on there, which is kind of the wrong way to do it. I never did wheels on my car like that. This is not really the right way to do things. Now I don't know if I was really, I probably wasn't getting the true torque setting, kind of bootlegging it, doing it like that. So now I can skip the tomfoolery and just slap the half inch socket straight on the torque wrench I need. All right, there you have it people. This is just gonna be a quick tool of the month video. Hunter Spoke Riders signing out with a brand new half inch torque wrench. All right, thanks for watching Hunter Spoke Riders video. If you're subscribed, make sure you turn your post notifications on because I do not have a set schedule of when I drop videos. I just do them whenever I am motivated to do videos. So sometimes you might get videos once a week. Sometimes you might get videos every day. You just never know. As long as you keep your post notifications on, you get an alert every time I drop a video, and it'll be all good. You won't miss anything. Be on the lookout. New videos will come. Once again, thanks for watching. I'm Spoke Rivers. Signing out.